Hello, my name is Venkatesh Krishnan, and I'm going to show you a simple app flow flow that takes data from an S3 bucket, which is stored in CSV files, and insert them as new lead records in Salesforce. So here's my S3 file, S3 bucket, and within the S3 bucket, within the S3 to Salesforce demo file folder, I have a CSV file that has the data that I would like to insert as new lead records within Salesforce. You can currently see that within Salesforce, I don't have any lead records. And so I'm going to use the data that is in the S3 bucket, in the CSV file to create new leads within Salesforce. Let me show you how the data looks. So it's a CSV file. So if you click on it, it open it out for you. And you can see that it has it has a few it has a few fields it's got the last name field the first name field there are four records and i populated them with some dummy data so it's got last name first name company title status uh, owner id etc so it's got a few fields that i'm going to use to create new records and new lead records in salesforce and i have four sample records okay so the first step is to create a flow in app flow. So I just say create flow and I give it a name. I can enter a description. I then click next. So the source in this case will be S3. I pick the S3 bucket where my file is located and I enter the S3 prefix. This prefix is optional. You can just leave the file at the bucket level, but I would recommend that in terms of best practices, you put it into a folder in S3 and enter the folder name as a prefix here. So I'm gonna enter the folder name, which is S3 to Salesforce demo file as the prefix. That's it. Now I pick my destination, which is Salesforce. I can choose to create a new connection to Salesforce. It's the production environment. I'm gonna say my Salesforce prod environment continue it takes me into salesforce i click allow and essentially i'm connected to salesforce oops salesforce there you go next step is to pick the object where i want to insert the data in this case it's leads so i click lead and then i select the lead object the next step is to choose an error handling option for some reason if we are not able to insert records then the error handling options indicate what corrective actions I would app flow would need to take. So in this case, you have you can either choose to stop the current flow. So for some reason, if we are not able to insert the records into Salesforce, you can ask app flow to stop the current flow and report an error, or you can choose to ignore the records and continue the flow run. In this case, I'm just going to choose the first option to stop the current flow. So in case I'm not able to insert the records, it's going to report an error. The flow trigger I've selected is to run the flow on demand, which means as soon as I'm done setting up this flow, I will click a button that says run flow and the flow will instantaneously transfer the data from S3 into Salesforce. But I can also choose to run the flow on a schedule, in which case I would go and pick the schedule. App flow will check every five minutes, maybe even every minute for new CSV files. And every time it pulls the data from CSV, it will put it in. So every time a new file is created in that folder, it will pick the contents of that file and create new lead records in Salesforce. I'm just gonna go with run on demand. The next step is to map the fields. One thing you should note is that in my data, the first row in my CSV file, the first row contains the names of the field. It doesn't actually contain the data but it contains the names of the field. So every file that you create, every CSV file that you create with data, the first row should have the names of the fields exactly the same way it is 
in the first file. So every file should have the same set of fields in the first row. If not, it will report an error. So the next step is to map the source fields to the destination field. So I'm going to go pick the last name and map it to the last name field here. I'm going to pick the first name and map it to the first name field. Pick map fields and click company, map that to the company name. You can click title, map that to title. You can go with email, map it to well, email. I can then click owner ID and I'm going to map that to the owner ID field in Salesforce. That's pretty much it. So those are the minimum set of fields that I need to create new records and I'm good. So I've created new records. I'm, I'm, I've created the mapping between the fields that are in my CSV file, which are the source field names and the names of fields within the lead object in Salesforce, which are listed on the right hand side. Next step is to review, add filters. I'm not going to add any filters here. Then you review and create your flow. On create flow. And as soon as the flow is created, you can hit run flow, and that should instantaneously transfer your flow, your data from S3 into Salesforce. Once it reports that the data transfer is complete, you're going to go back into Salesforce and check. There it is. So it's, it reports, app flow has reported that it has processed four records and transferred them into Salesforce. Let's go into Salesforce and refresh the screen to see the new leads. There you go. So it's created four new lead records within Salesforce with the data with the field values that we had set in the CSV file. That's it, my friends. Thank you.